Hi guys, so let's look at this question today. The figure shown below, not drawn to scale, consists of a triangle CDE and a rectangle DEFG. Okay, so here we have triangle CDE, okay, and then we have rectangle DFG. Alright, next we are given that the area of the unshaded triangle A is actually 810 square centimeters greater than the unshaded triangle B. Okay, so what this means is that if we were to take the area of the unshaded triangle B, okay, plus 810 square centimeters, this would give us the area of unshaded triangle A. Okay, and then we are asked to find the length of EF. So if we were to look at the figure, right, EF is actually the base or the height of this uh, unshaded triangle B, okay, or it can also be the breadth okay, of the rectangle DEFG. So far, so good. So how do we go about solving this question? Okay, We need to make use of what we know. Okay, Here, if we were to look at triangle CDE, we realize that we are given the base as well as the height of the triangle. Correct? So the first step would be to find the area of this entire triangle. And we can do that by taking half times base, okay, which is 60, then times height, which is 45. And this would give us 1350 square centimeters. Alright? Okay. Now, some of you might be wondering, what has the area of this triangle got to do with finding the length, right? Because one is area, one is length, it doesn't really make sense. Okay. But here's the catch. We can actually link 1350, okay, to this equation over here. Let me show you what I mean. Are you ready for the magic? If we were to include this shaded part over here, right? We realize that the area of the unshaded triangle A, okay, plus this shaded part would be equal to the area of the unshaded triangle B here plus the shaded part here plus 810. You realize what I have just done is actually just to replace this unshaded triangle A, right? Okay. I just replace it with this right portion over here, correct? Some of you might be wondering why on earth do I want to include the shaded part and complicate matters, right? The reason why we included the shaded part is actually to link it back to the area of triangle CDE that we have here, okay? So I hope that answers your question. So since we have already found out this value earlier on, right, all we need to do is to add this value in. So we have something like this. And this will be very helpful to us, okay? Because if we were to look at this, right, we realize that we can find the area of the unshaded triangle B plus the area of the shaded part by taking 1350 minus 810, which gives us 540 square centimeters. Alright? So what's so special about this portion over here? Okay, do you guys realize that the area of the unshaded triangle B, okay, plus the shaded part, is actually the area of rectangle DEFG, correct? Okay, so since we know that the area of the rectangle is five four zero, and we are given the length of the rectangle, which is sixty cm, we can easily find its breadth, right, by taking the area five four zero divided by the length which is 60. And this will give us our answer of 9 cm. Done. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot from this video because this question is indeed a very interesting one. So do take the time to redo the questions again. And if you still have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Okay? Bye!